What's this? A letter for me. Welcome to another episode of Remember the Great Sports Through the Mail Thursdays. Today I'm going to open three envelopes that I recently got back, football related. And if you could tell from the title screen, they are all Kansas City Chiefs. So we're not talking current Chiefs like Patrick Mahomes or anything like that. But we are talking some of the great, great players from the Chiefs history that played in the 1980s and almost into the 1990s. So the first one I want to show you is postmarked from St. Paul, Minnesota, and it is former offensive lineman John Alt on one, two, three, and a fourth. So let me tell you about John Alt and his playing career with the Kansas City Chiefs. Alt was actually born in Germany, and I assume maybe a military family, but he grew up in Minnesota and attended the University of Iowa, where he was selected in the first round of the 1984 draft by the Kansas City Chiefs. Standing at six foot eight, 298 pounds, we can't just say 300 pounds, Alt was an imposing figure on the Kansas City Chiefs offensive line for many years. He was selected to two Pro Bowls in 1992 and 93 and was eventually elected to the Kansas City Chiefs Hall of Fame. Over his career with the Chiefs from 1984 to 1996, he appeared in 179 games for the Chiefs, starting 149 of them. After his playing career, Alt moved back to Minnesota, where he got involved with some local high school teams, being an offensive line coach. I mean, who better to be your offensive line coach than a guy that played in the NFL at six foot eight? And his son played there. But another neat fact about John Alt is that his son, Mark Alt, is actually a professional hockey player and not a professional football player. His son Mark is just six foot four, but plays currently for the Colorado Avalanche. So very, very happy to add John Alt to my collection. A six foot eight lineman is just amazing to, to see how big of a man this guy really is. So very cool to add these to the collection. Thank you, Mr. Alt. Alright, this next one is postmarked from Kansas. And it is former defensive end Mike Bell on one and a second two. And I actually sent him four, and there were duplicates of both of these cards, and he did not return two of the four. So not a big deal. Very happy to at least get the two back. More than happy to add a couple to his collection that maybe he didn't have. Um, this one is not that common. This was the very short-lived Ted Williams company that produced these cards, and they are exceptionally awesome for autographs. They have really nice action shots with like a foreshadowing image on the back. So I thought these would be really nice to get signed. So again, very happy to get these two back. Let me tell you about Mike Bell and his career. So Mike Bell, a Wichita, Kansas native, attended high school in Wichita, Kansas. However, played his collegiate ball at Colorado State University. He was a consistent first team All-American while in college and in 1979 in the first round the Kansas City Chiefs selected him with the second pick overall in the draft making him an immediate contributor to the Chiefs. From 1979 to 1991 Mike Bell played defensive end for the Kansas City Chiefs. During his career, he played in 135 games, starting 100 of them, producing 40 quarterback sacks throughout that career. Interesting enough, he has a twin brother as well, Mark Bell, that also played at Colorado State. He played his entire career with the Kansas City Chiefs. If you were a Chiefs fan any time in the 1980s, you most likely remember Mike Bell being on the defensive line for the Chiefs. He was probably not the most well-known defensive player during that era because there were so many great, great players during that era. But he was a model of consistency 
for the Kansas City Chiefs, appearing in all of those games throughout his career as a Chief. So I'm very happy to add Mike Bell to my autograph collection as I had never gotten him before. So very happy to add those to the collection. And all right, we're moving on. All right, so this next one I'm going to share with you that I'm pretty excited to get back since we're talking on the defensive side of the ball. And this is actually the other defensive end of the Kansas City Chiefs. Art Still on one, two, a third, and a team leader's fourth card of Art Still. And he signed all four. Now, in addition to him signing these four cards, I actually received a second envelope in the mail from him. And I'm going to cover up his address and mine on this. But as you can see, it says Art Still in the corner there. And I'm like, well, what did he send me? I, you know, I, I mean, I, I just normally send just a regular envelope. And I got that back. So I opened it up. And I've talked about this in previous videos before. A lot of former athletes like to share their religious pamphlets with their fans. So Mr. Still sent me this religious pamphlet and in addition to that, this is where it gets neat and I'm not going to read the whole thing to you, but a personalized letter to me signed at the bottom by Art. So he took the time to not only sign my cards, but to personalize this letter to me, and I know it's typewritten, he probably has a form that he just, you know, put somebody else, put your name in there, and that he probably just changes the name at the top and then signs off, which is, you know, which is still cool, but just the simple fact that he wrote a personalized letter to us was, you know, very, very neat. And, it, you know, it, it talks about, you know, his religious teachings and reading the Bible and, and such. So I'm not going to read the whole thing to you. But I just thought that was a really nice addition of him giving me an additional autograph that he paid for, you know, in his own postage. So let me tell you about Art Still and his career as a Kansas City Chief. Art Still, a New Jersey native, played his collegiate football at the University of Kentucky. While at Kentucky, he was a consensus All-American, playing defensive end. And in 1977, he would be part of the 10-1 Kentucky Wildcats football team that was ranked number 6 in the AP poll. After his collegiate career, he was selected in the 1978 draft by the Kansas City Chiefs. And he was selected also with the second pick. So both Mike Bell and Art Still were selected back-to-back -back years and both played defensive end on both, you know, each side of the ball in back-to-back -back years. Well, Still didn't play his entire career with the Kansas City Chiefs, but he played the majority of his career with them. From 1978 to 1987, Art was a four-time Pro Bowler for the Chiefs. He made the all-rookie team his rookie year in 1978. And after spending, you know, the almost a decade with Kansas City, he decided to sign with the Buffalo Bills in 1988 and to play the 1988 and 1989 season with the Bills, finishing up an 11-year career with the Bills. As I mentioned, he was a four-time Pro Bowl selection, but he was also selected the Kansas City Chiefs most valuable player in both 1980 and 1984. Still is still, <laughs> that's funny, still is still on the Chiefs all-time sack list with 48 and a half th for his career and has also made 922 tackles throughout his career and 11 fumble recoveries for the Chiefs. He led the team in sacks on six occasions, twice registering 14 and a half in a season, and topped the team's tackle chart three times. And my guess is, is probably Mike Bell led the team in sacks the year that Art didn't lead the team in sacks. That'd be a good guess. Well, in addition to his accolades with the Chiefs, he was elected to the College Football Hall of Fame in 2015. So he is a collegiate Hall of Famer. 
another interesting note is that his sister, Valerie Still, actually played basketball for the University of Kentucky and is still the all-time leading scorer and rebounder in University of Kentucky women's basketball. So not only did Still excel at the University of Kentucky on football, his sister Valerie also played and was a star in her sport at the University of Kentucky as well. So in closing, I want to thank Mr. Still very, very much for signing my cards. I also want to thank him for personalizing and signing that letter to me as well because that's another autograph in my collection. And, you know, Art is one of those guys that you could argue he belongs in the Hall of Fame. Um, unfortunately, they just played for some of those pretty miserable teams of the Chiefs in the 1980s. But this guy could be arguably a Hall of Famer as well. I also want to thank Mr. Bell, his teammate, for signing for me as well on these two cards. Very happy to add those to the collection. And I also want to thank Mr. Alt as well for signing the four cards that he signed for me, who was also a teammate with these guys during their career. I mean, they weren't teammates the entire time with John Alt, but... All three of these guys played for the Chiefs on the same team for some different years. So I want to thank you for taking the time for joining me for a football episode. I hope you enjoyed this, and as always, happy collecting.